Good morning, Pioneer Land. Miss Hall here, coming to you from my backyard. There are no student birthdays today, but there is one staff member birthday. It's me. Happy birthday to myself. Today is Earth Day, which is a day that we um, celebrate Earth and find ways that we can help save the Earth. Um, you can do that by reducing, reduce the electricity that you use when you're not in a room. Um, reduce water by not leaving it on when you're brushing your teeth. You can recycle by taking your items to a recycling center. You can also reuse items like maybe a plastic water bottle, make a science experiment out of it, or um, a paintbrush holder, or use it for an art project. My challenge to you is to find a way that you can help save the earth. If you choose to do the recycling project, email me your final project at jenniferm.hall at evsck12.com and I will choose a winner and it will be posted on the Gary's Facebook page. We have some shout outs. Um, the first one comes from Miss Weber. She says she misses everyone so much. Celebrate this Earth Day by getting outside and enjoying the sunshine. If the sun isn't shining, check out the email she sent on the virtual field trips. Reminder, photos for the positive project are due by Friday. She encourages all staff and students to participate. Ms. Klein would like to say hello to all of you and keep up the good work on your virtual assignments. Ms. Merkel misses seeing all of her library peeps and she wants to, you to know that she thinks of you every day. Ms. Merkel is still looking for a few more candid pictures. Please send pictures to Robin.Merkel at evsck12.com. The last day for yearbook orders will be April 30th at midnight. Do not wait until the last minute. Miss Gilbert is so proud of her Pioneer Art students. They did an awesome work on the storyboards. Some examples are posted on the Art Facebook page, so go take a look. The mailbox for the mail art going to first responders or whoever you choose is set up outside the McGarry School Building by room 11, which is Mr. Timberge's room. If you have someone you want to send a letter to, you can put the address on it and Miss Gilbert will stamp it for you. If it's a general letter to a first responder, just address it to nurse or police officer or whoever it is that you want it to go to and she will make sure it gets there. Please consider doing this project. These people are tired and need your encouragement to continue through our unknown future. Stance would like to give a shout out to her general music students. She misses them all so much and has really enjoyed learning about each of them through their presentations. She would also like to give a shout out to her choir members. They are completing their sight readings very well. She looks forward to meeting with each of you in a small group she loves and misses all of her pioneers. Attention all band classes. McGarry Band Check-In is Friday, April 24th at 1 p.m. Miss Schessler will send an email with the link to the WebEx meeting on Friday morning. Check your email. She cannot wait to see and talk to each of you. Miss Goldman would like to give a shout out to her Connections kids. Demaya, Caden, Ryan, Carissa, Serena, Maria, Terrence, and Nathan. Shh. The code word is tulips. Miss Gilbert would also like to give a shout out to all of her drama students. 85% of the class completed their assignments for their storyboard. You are all amazing. This would have been a tech week for our production of The Clue. Thank you for your dedication to rehearsing. Hopefully next year we can try again. To all of my students, I hope you are all safe. Please check your Google Classroom on a regular basis. To my eighth graders, you need to check your email and Google Classroom because I've been sending out some surveys that we need back as soon as possible. The first two were for the teacher and the student voting. Those are due by this Friday. There is a link on my Google Classroom called Recognition. We need that information sent back to us as soon as possible. That needs to be accurate information. When it asks for your mailing address, that's where you the phone number you can put in, either your phone number or a parent phone number. Either one is fine. We just need the information as soon as possible. If you have questions, email me. Joke of the day. I would tell you a chemistry joke, but I don't think I would get any reactions. That's all for the news today. Stay safe. 
keep doing your virtual work and contacting your teachers. We all miss you. We are all here for you. Just stay safe and we'll see you next time.